starting to stream in New Orleans and other areas hit hard by the hurricane, but will it be enough to save the thousands of people still stranded in the storm zone? NBC's Jay Gray has the latest. In, in the last two days, prices in the Austin area have jumped 30 cents a gallon. Believe it or not, some people are already running scams from Hurricane Katrina. I'm Santa Henderson. We'll tell you what to look for coming up. And I'm Michelle Weiss, live at the Hancock Center for the Care for the Coast. It's been tremendous. I'll also give you an update on that New Orleans family looking for a place to stay. And what you need to do, we need a wrap up here at 6 o'clock and we need some volunteers. I'll tell you all about that coming up. KXAN crews have brought you stories of survival every day this week. Take a look. This gentleman, under about nine feet of water, lucky to make it out alive. Tonight, KXAN NBC Austin brings you a one-hour special report. Crisis on the coast, Katrina's aftermath, never-before-seen footage, heartbreaking stories from the victims, personal accounts from your KXAN team, and how you can help the victims of Katrina right here in Central Texas. Crisis on the coast, Katrina's aftermath, tonight at 6. With about 10,000 people still waiting in the water, we'll show you how New Orleans wrestles with another day of mandatory evacuations. We'll also explain the question that evacuees at the Austin Convention Center ask most when camera crews pass them by. KXAN News First at Four starts now. I'm Robert Hadlock. The Environmental Protection Agency now confirms flood water in New Orleans contains elevated sewage bacteria plus high lead levels. That